Hope you guys are doing good today. I just wanted to do a short video here, um, a thank you actually to three of my really, really good friends. Um, I love getting gifts. Um, all gifts are wonderful, but when you get a gift that is either made by hand or is a labor of someone's love, it is just such an amazing gift. Uh, it, for me, it warms my heart, you know, and I'm a woman, I'm sappy, but um, I want to show you a couple things here. First of all, this is a book that I received from a very dear friend of mine, Vicki Lynn Haycraft. Wrapping it up, it is uh, one of her recipe books. Um, Vicki Lynn Haycraft can be found at realfoodliving.com and she does amazing things with food. She's got amazing knowledge. She has to work around, as we do, um, food allergies and, and such and has just really created an amazing website and has several books that are available. So this is one of her books and I was um, blessed enough to receive this special gift in the mail from her. So thank you very much, Vicki Lynn. Um, you you want to definitely get your hands on this. And it is uh, wrapping it up and you can find these on Amazon. I will put links um, in the um, description here so that you can link up to these things. The other thing I wanted to show you is I received a package from a, another special friend of mine, uh, Melissa K. Norris. She is an author also, um, but I didn't receive a book from her. I received something that's, in my opinion, even more amazing. She sent me seeds. These are 100-year-old seeds from her family. They have been passed down from generation to generation for 100 years, and um, I was really excited to receive these. These are beans. Uh, there are two different types of beans, and uh, one is a Tar Heel bean, which is a white bean, and the other one, or is the white seed, and the other one is an October bean. I'll hold those up so you can see those, but this is this was awesome. These are um, some of the seedlings that I have downstairs uh, getting prepared to go out into the garden, and I kid you not, these beans have a stem bigger than the size of my pinky already. I mean, they are just, they're hardy and enormous, and I think that's just awesome because today we need to look for heirloom seeds so that we can plant our gardens, save the seeds, and continue every year planting. It's a safeguard for our survival, and um, to be able to get your hands on seeds that are over 100 years old is just amazing and that you know came from one family I just think that's really cool and I'm really blessed to have these so Melissa thank you very much Melissa also has a website and that she um, does similar things as we do on homesteading and pioneering and you can find her at melissaknorris.com um, highly suggest it she's also um, another radio host on uh, the survival mom radio network with me and so is Vicki Lynn so I wanted to share those, and today I got another package. This is from my girlfriend, Connie, and uh, she is down in Tennessee. You can also find her at the sparklyhomesteader.com, and um, she sent me her seeds that she's been saving um, in the last two years from her garden, and it's just endless. This is an amazing gift and was quite a surprise. I've just got seed after seed in here and I'm really excited because this year is a very big year for us. Our garden is in. Um, we, we will be doing more on that. I finally got everything um, straightened out and got all of the roots. We've got a lot of something similar to scrub oaks out here that just there's endless roots. So we, um, the mountain man took the backhoe and um, put some soil in, but it really needed to be sorted through. We had very few rocks, but a million and a half of these roots, and they're just horrible to yank out. But it's really nice and smooth. I'm getting my mulch on top, and my seedlings are looking nice. We had frost the last two weeks um, still out here, so it's still a little sketchy on getting my, my plants out. So it's pretty crazy. But look at all these seeds. Connie, thank you so much. There's tomatoes and beans and peppers and... There is also some herbs I saw in here too. She has echinacea and there's bee balm. I love bee balm and I love echinacea as well. There's lovage. Um, she gave me quite a barrage and pun intended. There's barrage also. Um, really excited. Um, there's also her cucumbers. Um, and here we have 
poor hound, which is awesome. I'm excited. I didn't get a chance to dig through here. So this is my excitement coming out here. She's got me set up with such awesome, awesome seeds. Lemongrass. Um, I'm Not only am I going to have a vegetable garden, but we already have um, a lot of herbs and medicinals that are being planted um, and ready to go out there as well. I'm planning on filling up my herbal pantry. So just, this is amazing. Thank you, Connie. This is so cool. <laughs> But this is, this is an awesome gift, and this is one that we'll keep on giving because I can forage those seeds again this year and use them next year. So that's something I really want to point out to you folks, is if you're not saving seeds, and you can only do that really with heirloom seeds, um, you can try it with other seeds, but you're not guaranteed. Um, these modified seeds are not the way to go. You want to go with an heirloom seed, and a lot of times these heirloom seeds, like with Melissa's, are hardy, and they're going to, you know, they've already... Um, overcome a lot of disease and temperatures and they're just a really hardier seed so I highly encourage you to get yourself some heirloom seeds and um, learn how to save them I will do more on that this fall when we are saving the seeds because whatever we are planting this year we will be saving as well as canning and preserving and drying and everything else so um, definitely stay tuned there is so much more to come with all of those topics and I just wanted to share that there's nothing better than a gift from the heart and um, something that was a labor of love and a homemade gift. So consider that when you're um, sharing things. And it's something as simple as, you know, your seeds from your garden can be really well received and a great gift that will, like I said, keep on giving. So stay tuned for so much more. Um, you guys take care. Until the next video, God bless.